Hey everyone, welcome to this Tower TV buying guide on the Arma Typhon Mega. It's an A-scale RTR buggy. Um, now, in my opinion, this is probably the best A-scale RTR buggy you can get for the price. It's only a little bit over $200 at $219.99. Uh, we're going to go into some uh, details on the car that, which I think makes it the best RTR buggy. So first off, this is actually a true RTR buggy. So it comes with the car, the radio, the battery, and the charger to charge that battery. Now it's only a brush system, which is why I think it's a good beginner vehicle. Uh, it's not going to be going crazy fast, maybe 30, 40 miles an hour, but it's great to learn how to drive on. And since it's an A-scale buggy, it's going to be a lot more stable than like a smaller 10-scale truck or monster truck. Now the radio it's coming with is that STX2 over there by Spectrum. Now the cool thing about this radio is it has a three position power switch. So you can go from 100% power to 75% power down to 50% power. So say you learn how to drive and you want your kids to figure out how to learn how to drive. You can cut the power down to 50 or 75% and it's going to be much easier for them to learn how to drive and they're not going to be able to grab a handful of throttle and the car is going to take off on them. So going into some details under the hood on this Arma Typhon Mega, uh, it is waterproof. So go ahead and run it in the snow, run it through some puddles. I would just maybe let it air dry out and uh, wipe some water off of it when you're done. Uh, you don't want to just let it soak there. Maybe put some oil or WD-40 on some of the metal components and you'll be good to go. Now this does have gear differentials. I believe from the factory inside the gears just come with grease. But if you want to get into the more tuning aspect on this car, you can actually add oil inside of those diffs. So a lot of the race buggies, we use oil in them just to control the way they turn and rotate. So if you, th if you think this thing's turning really hard, maybe put some thicker oil in there instead of grease. Uh, that might help it out a little bit. The other nice thing is it comes with oil-filled shocks. So it's not going to just rebound and hit the ground really easy. It's got a nice dampening with those oil-filled shocks and springs on the outside to keep it landing very well. Uh, it's going to help with traction when you get on the power. It's not just going to hit the ground. It's going to actually plant the rear end a little bit. It's really nice. Another great thing with the Arma Type and Mega is that it comes with bearings throughout the entire car. Now this is one thing you need to be wary about if you're running in uh, snow or water. You need to make sure you check on those bearings and make sure they're not seizing up or getting rusty. Uh, like I said, go through add WD-40 and stuff like that. But the bearings are basically just going to help it roll smoother. It's going to keep it more consistent uh, instead of like a bushing or a plastic bearing type of thing. And giving you plenty of traction are these DeBoots tires. Uh, I've ran these a couple times before and I really like them. Haven't really had any problems with them, uh, giving you plenty of traction. And they actually last pretty long. Uh, especially with the brush, brushed system in here, you're not really going to break traction too much. Uh, they're not really going to wear off or get bald. So you got plenty of room for uh, running time there. And just to cap this video off, I think this is also a great uh, upgrade vehicle. So uh, you could go through and upgrade the electronics, maybe a different servo, go to a high-tech servo, get you a bit more steering power. Um, like the 3S version of the Typhon, uh, it is all the same car just a couple different things to make it a little bit cheaper for the beginners. Uh, so you can go ahead and throw a brushless system in here. Uh, maybe start with a 2S brushless system. It is a 550 motor, so go ahead and throw that in there and it's gonna be good to go. You just plug in, plug in the brushless system and go ahead and start running. All right, that's all I've got for you guys on this Tower TV buying guide for the Arma Typhon Mega. Uh, like I said, very good beginner truck coming in at that $219 price range. Uh, of course, at the time of this filming, that might change. Uh, very good truck to start, buggy to start out with, not a truck. Uh, let me know if you guys have any questions, uh, what upgrades you could do to this, or who you think this would be a good starter vehicle for. Other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.